Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, sizzling bacon prices. These days, bacon is about more than eggs and BLTs. Trendy restaurants are using it in everything from cocktails to desserts. There are countless websites and even a springtime festival here in town devoted to the cured meat. The surge in demand for the crispy bits of pork, though, is coinciding with a big drop in supply. The result? Record prices for retail bacon. Per pound, it's averaging $4.21, the highest level since the government started tracking it three decades ago. People are getting more into bacon. Bill Begale is the owner of Lakeview's Paulina Meat Market. He was paying $1.60 for pork bellies last October and is now paying $2.20 and is feeling the squeeze, reluctant to pass on increases to his customers. It's a big, big jump for us, you know, and we held our prices. We try not to raise prices, you know, we try to wait it out because it's usually a three, four month thing and then it drops back down. If it doesn't come back down for another three, four months, I would have to raise it a little bit again. Pork belly prices at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange have surged this year to a record $1.47 last month. That as tomatoes ripen and people eat more BLTs. And not only are high-end chefs using more bacon, but McDonald's rolled out a new Angus snack wrap with it and Subway launched a new breakfast menu. The pork industry here really was hit by a double whammy. Um, their feed prices really skyrocketed beginning back in fall of 2006. Um, as ethanol became more popular, corn prices went way up. Um, and then at the same time, the following year, their exports plummeted as a result of swine flu fears. Um, so that combination resulted in a decrease in production of about 5%. You'd think all this love for bacon would be a boon to local hog farmers, but prices would need to stay high for a few years in order for them to recover the losses from the past years and that's unlikely to happen. Economists say that demand tends to peak in August and pork belly futures prices already fell last week on expectations for more production going forward. It's also worth noting that even though pork belly prices are near a record, there's hardly a market for them to trade anymore. Trading in pork bellies has dropped gradually over the past two decades and has fallen sharply in the past year, leaving just a dozen contracts open to buy or sell as of last week. In fact, contract volume is so low that traders expect the CME to delist pork belly futures if interest cannot be renewed. The problem is now that bacon producers are buying fresh parts from meat packers instead of frozen bellies, and traders are turning to so-called lean hog futures, another contract. Well, that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. For more on these stories, be sure to check out this week's print edition of Cranes or chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.